Many SEO audits recommend having an optimized description on the page so that search engines could easily find out what the page is all about. In this video, we'll check out how to harness the power of Bloxy Pro's content block system to embed the product category description at the bottom of the page, moving it from the title section at the top. Start by navigating to any of the product category archive pages, which are automatically generated by WooCommerce. You can already see the title section of the page is pre-populated with the title and description. To not generate duplicate content on the page, the description layer in the title section needs to be disabled first. Click on the Customize button at the top, then go to Product Archives and click on the Page Title option. Untick the Show Hide button from the description layer and save the changes. The next step requires creating a content block, which will house a dynamic Gutenberg block that will automatically pull in the description of the page. You will need to first note the location for the content block placement. Choose the Hook Locations button at the top, then choose to show WooCommerce hooks. Scroll down a bit and notice the WooCommerce After Shop Loop Hook position. This is of interest for us. There are two ways of getting to the Content Blocks Editor, but the simplest way to get there would be to click the little pencil icon next to the hook position. This automatically creates a new blank content block ready to be filled in with anything that might be needed. You can rename the content block here for easier identification later on. Next up, you will need to insert the dynamic data block provided by Bloxy. This block dynamically pulls in the data that's associated with the page it is shown on. In our case, it will automatically pull in the product category description. To make this work, choose the Archive Description Content Source in the Blocks Properties sidebar. You may see that the preview window here will not show any content, but will show a placeholder instead. This is to be expected, as only the front end will get automatically updated. Before closing and saving the content block, you will need to select the display conditions for which the content block code will be executed on. Choose the Bloxy Settings pane and click on the Add Conditions button. Click on Add Display Condition, then pick Product Categories from the list. Choose Save Conditions after you're done. As you can see, the location of the content block is already populated with the correct one that we've chosen before when we click on the pencil icon. Once you're ready, save the changes for the content block. Let's check out the front end to see what we've done. And sure enough, going to a product category archive page will show its description at the bottom of the page. When you navigate to another category archive page, you will see that the description automatically changes or even disappears if the category does not have a description assigned to it. And that's it. Seems pretty easy when you have the right tools available at your fingertips, doesn't it? And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy2 has to offer, continue at our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.